Hi, I'm Will. Norm. Norm, today we have this. It's a wristband with a bunch of electronics in it. It is a wristband with a little sensor thingy and it's called the Lark. Uh, what it is is a silent alarm clock, basically. Okay, but that you wear on your arm. So you put this on your arm. You, I put it on my left arm generally. Well, what's wrong with the classic Mickey Mouse alarm clock? Well, the problem with that is that if you have a spouse or a significant other who shares a bed with you, who gets up at a different time than you every day, then whoever gets up first, their alarm goes off and it wakes they everyone up. They control the rhythm of the day. Yeah, it really sucks because I'm the one that goes to bed late and gets up late. My wife goes to bed early, gets up early, and when she uh, fires off the alarm at six o'clock in the morning, I always wake up and, it, and it's not good. No, snoozing is not an no, option. No snoozing from that point on. It's just roll over, grab the iPad, and start reading. Uh, the nice thing about the Lark is that you can put this on, and what it does is you set the alarm at night when you uh, take it off of its little charger thing with your iPhone, okay. and then uh, when it's time to wake up in the morning, it, there's a little motor in here that vibrates and it kind of wakes you up in a more gentle, reasonable way. There's snooze options and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's kind of theoretically looks at your movement patterns to see what the appropriate time is to wake you up. It seems like it never actually does that because it always wakes me up right on the alarm period. So whether that means that I'm, I'm at the right time to wake up when it's time for me to wake up, or it just looks at the time and says, oh, it's 7.30. It's now the Jawbone Up had a similar thing where you can set an alarm exactly. and it, it vibrated the wrist. Does this have accelerometers to monitor your sleep? So yeah. does it doesn't know how, how much you tumble. So the point of this whole exercise is that it does monitor uh, both when you fall asleep, uh, how active you are during the night, the times mm -hmm. you get up and wake up and go to the bathroom or whatever, and gives you kind of a report at the end of the day for that sort of thing. Uh, this is the one for my average over the running running last week, I think, seven days. Uh, but you can see individually what, what went well and what didn't. So this was last night. Uh, I slept six hours. My score was 9.3 out of 10. I have a little graph that shows how many times I woke up uh, when I was active. This is when I was laying in bed reading. That's when I fell asleep. And then that's when I put the book up. So. Um, nightmare, happy dream, nightmare. Yeah, night terrors. Uh, I think that this is less good than the software that came with the Fitbit, though. Mm -hmm. So I used the Fitbit for a fairly extended period of time until I yeah. accidentally sent it through the washing machine and it broke. There's a sleep coach function of this of this Lark thing that I started, and I don't sleep with it on weekends because I don't need an alarm on the weekend, and mm -hmm. I find that the wristband actually is a little bit disruptive. I think it's fairly to ridiculous. My sleep habits. Yeah, we live in an age where you need a sleep coach. What, here's, here's the only lesson you need: close your eyes, have think good thoughts. How long do you sheep. sleep every night, Norm? Three, four hours, maybe? You're supposed to sleep eight hours. What? That's not <laughs> anywhere near enough. I was not aware of this. Eight hours of sleep a night, Robo-chan. Wow, okay. No That's, wonder you're there, there goes the, the sleep coach advice. Yeah, exactly. So sleep more. Okay. I'm your sleep coach. Mm. Um, you have to do seven days in a row. They required a whole bunch of sign-up stuff, and they're clearly trying to push you toward like a pro subscription service. Uh, with that, I, so I stopped. Uh, I'm never going to wear this thing seven nights in a row. I find that the band is either a little too tight or a little too loose. It's very hard to get it just mm -hmm. right. Uh, I actually woke up most days well before the buzzing on the arm started. Yeah, your internal alarm clock, your body clock, is usually pretty good. Well, and the wristband is distracting when you get to like the rest, le restless early morning, getting ready to wake up kind of mode. It takes several days to get used to it. it more than several days. I've been using it for more than a week and I'm still kind of, it's still a little uncomfortable. Uh, the other thing is it doesn't actually uh, kind of wake you up based on the, it doesn't seem to actually wake you up based on your where you are in your sleep cycle, or at least didn't for me. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing is that getting the wristband onto the dock, which you have to do every day, it needs to charge every day, is a little bit tricky because the, the space, it's real tight. This wristband needs some compression to get on and it, it takes a nap to get it on and off. There, like, it seems like this would be a much better use for an inductive kind of magnetic charger or something like that, rather than something that actually requires a mini USB cable. Uh, I do like that the, the, the dock thing actually has a slot for the phone, and when you put the phone in sideways after you set the alarm every night, yeah. it switches to a clock mode, which is what, whatever, it's fine. I, I don't have okay. strong feelings about that. But it doesn't actually charge, you know, you can't actually, you have to use a, a USB cable to charge your phone. Uh, when it's on here. It's, it's it does have a USB talk. port on the back, so that's nice. Uh, so yeah, this is the Lark. It's 99 bucks. I don't think it's that good. I, don't, I think there's better products yeah. out there. That $99 the I think thing. is way too expensive for something to distract your sleep, especially if there's a premium subscription service yeah. afterward. Use that to buy a fine bottle of wine. That'll help you sleep, right? That's one of the things that it doesn't help you sleep, Chad. Oh, really? That's terrible, terrible. Oh. He's the worst Do, sleep coach wrong. ever. Well, good thing um, you don't have to wear it because your wife is the one that has to Yeah, I'm going to give it to Gina so that she has to get up early in the morning. She cannot bother me with her getting up. Yeah, so get it for your loved ones, but not for yourself. Uh, I'm Will. I'm Norm. We'll see you guys later. Bye.